Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we sail to Isla of San Francisco, Bella and Mum do a hike and Dad gets the new rod back in action. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping for a mahi. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome back. We are currently in Agua Verde Bay in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico. So if we just woke up at Agua Verde, we can head off today. Pretty little bay. We are going to go up to the little island of Loreto. Just having a morning swim before we go. Captain's up there getting the boat ready. And Bill and I is having a morning swim. Well, Belle's known here. <laughs> will be in a second. How do we think Bella's gonna enter into the water? Is she gonna backflip, front flip, jump in, slide? What do you think? Here she goes, she's deciding. <laughs> oh, looks like she's going for the backflip. Making sure nothing's underneath her. And she's getting ready. Look at that beautiful girl. Here she goes. <laughs> All right, we're about to pull anchor from Agua Verde and I'm just gonna make everybody mud water because mud water is our favorite drink to have in the morning. Uh, we don't drink coffee, we drink mud water. It gives us energy and helps us stay alert and we just love it. Really love the flavour and honestly, we don't go a day without drinking mud water. So I'm going to make these and then we're going to pull the anchor and head off. I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. We were planning on going to a little island above Loreto, which I think is called Coronado, but We've left a little bit later than we were planning, so <laughs> as usual. <laughs> 10 o'clock. <laughs> as usual, we are heading off late, but you never know, there's a bit of wind out here today, so. There was no wind earlier, so. Yeah, I that's what know. that's what we'll say. There was I no wind. Up top, it was five o'clock, I was like, no wind, so I went back to bed. We're gonna sail. It's only 37 nautical miles. We might get there or we'll get to Loretto. Get the spinnaker up, we'll be walking along. <laughs> Rods out, hand lines are out. Come on, baby, let's get some fish. We had mahi sushi for dinner last night. It was absolutely delicious. Crumbed mahi in sushi rolls. Oh, so good. How good was it, Bella? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is regardless we're going past. Little we this will be a little island. Model Bella. <laughs> you got a wind machine? <laughs> Work it girl. <laughs> Look at him and his new rod back there. Stop touching your rod. <laughs> Alright, that's our baby. That's our baby. Right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly. I believe to believe. Hey, we're only going at three and a half, four knots. Pull this head sail in. A beautiful precision sail. We're going to throw the spinnaker up and see if we can get a couple more knots. We usually go about five winds. or six, so we it's want light fish. Winds, light winds for the day. We want to get a fish, so <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't have even put the main up and we could have just flown the two spinnakers. We'll see what happens. It's pretty light. I can probably even fell the main down while we're underway. So, uh, usually got to point up pretty hard. 
take the wind out of the main with the furling system we have. But um, let's start with the spinnaker first, we'll see what happens. If the wind drops out more, we'll drop the main and fly both spinnakers. Wind's just on the beam, so yeah, just behind, perfect. Turns out we didn't need to put the spinnaker up. We are choking our head sail, if that's a term. Is that a term? No. We don't know. We're not sailors like we like we always say, but we just had to let it out. We we're uh, it was a little too tight in, so we're now going five and a half knots. Just a little bit of a sail adjustment. That's all it needed. We're gonna pull it oh, down, put a whale. up a spinnaker. There's a whale. I didn't see a whale. <sighs> Only one guy saw a whale. Was it? Could have been a whale of a tail. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we were here. Baja Agorda Verde. That's where we were this morning. So we're going to head up to Carmen, Isle of Carmen, which there's a few potential stops and we wanted to go here where there's a salt mine. It's a banded salt mine. We wanted to check that out. But the anchorage is not protected in this wind. So, oh, where's this one? That looks pretty. It's putting the mizzen up now, sorry. <laughs> Five and a half knots is not satisfactory. We need to go extra faster. Knot, extra knot and we could just potentially get that mahi we've been looking for. So we're going at five and a half, six knots. And the wind's back down to like eight and a half. So. Are we sailors, babe? Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> it actually is this sort of stuff, you know. Uh, I have to read a few books on sailing. Sail trip. <laughs> Never paid that much attention to it. Yeah. Mizzen's up. Maid's up. Head sails up. Out. Three sails. Three sails. And we're still trying to work out where we're going. But it still wasn't enough. We had to get the... What do you call that sail? The stay sail? Stay sail. Wasn't enough for the cat, so he's got all the sails up. <laughs> Can we fly the spinnaker with all these sails up? Six knots. Six knots in nine knots of wind. Pretty great. Pretty great. We're pretty loaded too. We've probably got nearly a thousand litres of water on. We've only got a half a tank of diesel, but we've been trying to nurture that since we left San Diego. We've done a pretty good job so far. We haven't really made it much, no. which is fantastic. We kind of really do feel like sailors now. <laughs> she definitely sails a lot better than Catalpa 1. <laughs> we thought Catalpa uh, We thought Catalpa was a good sailing boat. We've only got one really good sail on here. We've got a beautiful precision head sail and our main is terrible at the moment. It needs some work done. All the buttons are falling out the end. And, <laughs> um, I think with a new main, She'll power up nicely. And I think we found our spot. We are going to V Cove. It's at the top of Carmen Island or Isle of Carmen. I think that's where we're heading. Look at it. You know why we're heading there, guys? Because unless the water looks like this, <laughs> we don't even want to be there. <laughs> we are. Clear water snobs for sure. <laughs> El Refugio. In here. What does it say? Small anchorage. We're in for one to two boats. It's surrounded by white rock cliffs. Good for south winds. Perfect. Hopefully no one else is in there. We've got a fish! It'll be the first fish on the rod! Go baby! You! The broom handle over there. Oh, he's jealous. I can't get any pressure on him. I don't want to load it up too much. I've lost so many fish lately, I'm scared to put pressure on. This is a really good angle for you. Babe, <laughs> you know that fish contains high amounts of omega-3? This can be a while. All right, baby, you got this. You got it. Your cheerleaders are here. Go. Woo 
sorry guys, I didn't turn the ratchet off. Oh yeah, you did it. It's windy anyway, the wind noise is gonna be outrageous. You got dinner. For a couple of nights. You know if there's one just there on the table? I know, pass it down, just go down and grab it. Oh! <laughs> just not <nutted> me. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, really hot. Oh, darling. The fish had one last crack at freedom, unfortunately for Dad. He's really going to enjoy eating this one. Sharpening the knife. You want the proper filleting though? Actually, I don't mind this one. Alright, guys, that's one side filleted. I usually just leave around the rib cage there, it's just full of bone anyway, so I just work my way up over there. But look at the flesh that's come off this fish. There is so much. Doesn't like when I film the other side, he always does one side really good and the other side not so much. I know some people leave a half a side, they, they, they like leave half a side on and they work down both sides, but I still don't like doing it that way. You do you, babe. You do me. I appreciate you and I appreciate catching it, filleting it, and then I'll do the rest. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Mama's uh, already in the kitchen cooking some up for lunch. What are we having, Mum? It's not lunch. We haven't eaten anything. Um, well, it's like 11, 12 o'clock, so I didn't want to say that. But... So we haven't eaten anything, so we haven't actually prepared the fish properly yet. We're going to bag it and put it in the freezer because we'll keep this for, you know, it'll last. But I just couldn't help myself. I need some butter bell. And we're just going to fry some up and put some in our mouth because um, I'm starving and everyone else is probably starving, but we've had... A little hectic. So is it just lime and pepper? Lime, salt and pepper. In, fried in some butter. That's all I'm doing just right now because I'm halfway through. No, I'm even halfway. I haven't even started, but we're going to put all of this fish, some of it in the fridge and bag some and put it in the freezer so it lasts longer. And we're just going to trim off. I don't like. So there'll be some bones and stuff in there, but this red part, I just make... I just like to trim it all just so it's white flesh so that when it freezes up, it's really nice. So that's what I'm doing. But I'm just going to fry some up so we don't all starve. I'm shaking, I'm that hungry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry! My poor family's starving. Because we don't make our own breakfast. No, yeah. I make breakfast, I just couldn't think of what to make. Look at that. Oh. Can't get too much pressure than this. Literally caught it within half an hour and it's in the pan. It came from the sea like 10 minutes ago, filleted at the back of the boat and straight onto the pan. Oh my gosh, I'm I think that was enough, so I'll cook some more up, hey? Bit of that, dipped in some mayonnaise. Oops, uh. <laughs> Here it is. Look at that fresh mahi. It's time for the taste taste tester. Is it any good? Mmm, so good. Straight from the sea to the pan to my mouth. It's a great job, Mum. Is it nice? Pancakes. Mm. 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 M
Panko Crumb is definitely the way to go though. Oh. It's pretty good. Mm. Alright, we get another fish for the day. Taj is gonna bring this one in. Just remember, keep the pressure. <laughs> No! Oh! <laughs> what happened? Oh, I, I, it shook its head. It like got free. Oh, then. Ah, bro! Lucky we had plenty of fish, so losing this fish wasn't too devastating, but I do wonder what it was. We arrived at another anchorage, so join us next time as we explore another slice of paradise here in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico.